Welcome back to My Carolina. It's time for our latest animal adoptions journey with our pals at Saving Grace. Yep, you know her well. Molly Goldsmith is back. And today, Molly, I think we're specifically talking about something that's going to help a lot of people and sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. A sleepover program. Well, yep. So we have our sleepover program every weekend, but next week we're doing some construction. So we're redoing our floors and some much needed upgrades there. And we have to move out a lot of the dogs to be able to, to do this. So we really try to never actually close or shut down because yeah. a lot of the dogs coming to us depend on Saving Grace uh, as a shelter to be the only place they may have um, for an option to, to have an adoption um, journey and to get the care they need. So we depend on our community to help us out when we have to do stuff like this mm -hmm. so that, you know, the dogs can still come. And so we're reaching out to our community, hoping that folks would be interested in hosting a dog for a week long sleepover. Okay. So that's how long, that's about how long it's going to take for the entire process. Yep, that's how long it'll take. Okay. That's a good extension. I like that because yeah. then you don't even have the couple days. It's part of the family. Mm -hmm. And then I see what you're doing here. They're just going to slide right <laughs> into the homes and they're going to have new homes by that point. Well, it's always a bonus if they get adopted Foster or fail. they meet, you know, they get out and get to meet new people yeah. if they're out, you know, in the community. So um, that's always a bonus. You certainly aren't obligated. We don't expect anyone to adopt, yeah. but uh, you can also just do it for the weekend. We have it every weekend. So if you don't want to do the whole week, you can just do the weekend. Well, I know a lot of people are probably intimidated by such a feat, I think, you know, especially if you're not a dog person per se, or mm -hmm. you're unsure, you've never had a dog, maybe you're no, new to the thing. So what would you do or say to encourage them to say like, this is helping everybody out and you know, you, you're going to learn something in the process. Yeah. We have a really great team, a yeah. host sleepover team that just is there to support everybody who takes a dog home. So if you have questions throughout the week, there's mm -hmm. somebody to reach out to and help you. You know, if it's horrible, you can always bring them back, you know? I mean, we hope that doesn't happen, right. but sometimes there's a situation where maybe a resident dog just is like, I cannot live with another dog in my house. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so, you know, of course we meet them and, and they can come back then. So we try to match the dogs for an appropriate situation. So it'll be a good, successful experience for everybody, but sometimes you just don't know until you get them home. Yeah, yeah. it's animals. I would have a question, you know, not being a dog owner, but knowing what it takes to take care of one, Mm -hmm. What about like the food and the toys and the water and all these yep. things that people may not have in their house? Yep. Do so they we need send to go all out? that with you? Wow. There you go. Yep. So some people show up and they already have pets at home and they're like, all we need is the dog. We have everything. And then some people come and they have nothing. Right. You know, they've never had a dog before. So we send a crate, food and bowls, whatever they need for that dog for the week. So really no excuse not to. There's no excuse at all. Yeah, That's really we, nice. And the crate too, because and then the a lot of times the dogs aren't familiar with the yeah. home or the yeah. area and they want that comfort as well. Right. So yeah. that, that helps. We do crate train everybody and you know, shelter dogs, especially our dogs at Saving Grace, they have been through so many different mm -hmm. places yeah. in a really short amount of time. So before they get to the animal control shelter, we don't always know where they were living or what what their situation was and even if it wasn't a great situation it was normal to them right. and that was their experiences mm -hmm. and then they're at an animal control shelter and then they're at saving grace and you know then they go to a foster or an adopter so the crate is really a comfort spot for them and we encourage all of our adopters to get a crate you know you don't have to crate them forever mm -hmm. but definitely during those few weeks or few months of right. transition or during a sleepover it's something that's at least familiar to them and their little space where they feel comfortable. Yeah. Well, there's so many ways that yeah. people can get involved at Saving Grace. I mean, you have volunteer opportunities galore and um, people can adopt. You can learn so much about this process. How do we learn more and keep up with what you're doing? So we have a great website. All the information is there about volunteering or the week, host or sleepover. And it's SavingGraceNC.org as well as all our social media, which is Saving Grace NC on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I have a big question because I know you go all out for Halloween. We oh, do. Yeah. So it's is this up. going to um, mess Effect. up the Halloween direct? Yeah. Oh, no, we're already ready for Halloween. Okay, I just want to yeah. make sure, Molly. <laughs> yeah, because so I did see if some you come to pick up the there. dogs, you get to see all, the, decor. all the decorations. Yep, and of course we have open house on the 27th. 
which is always a lot of fun. Perfect. Oh, okay. So this yep. is going to be a quick renovation. Just oh, yeah. Just a week. Yeah. Go, just a week. Go okay. Well, puppies. yeah. If y'all are just interested in this week-long uh, host weekend week, <laughs> just contact SavingGraceNC.org for more information. Molly, thank you again. Of course. The preceding was sponsored by...